Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One at my old barn door. And I am just um, playing in my craft room today. Actually not playing, I'm working and <laughs> I have a lot going on. I've got multiple journals that I'm working on. I have uh, digital kits that I'm working on and all kinds of fun things that are coming up. So, yeah, what are y'all up to today? How are y'all? I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, life is treating you kindly. And I want to try, I'm working on master boards, and I figured um, I would work on master boards while I talk to y'all, just simply because I wanted to give you something pretty to look at, and I'm not really doing a project today. I have an announcement to make, an exciting announcement to make. Um... So I just thought I would work on master boards and try and get through some of these scraps while I chat with y'all. And I thought, I wonder if I can do fabric on my collages. And looky there, I think I can. And I think I'm going to like that. How cool is that? So not only can you add your paper scraps to your collages, but you can also add your fabric scraps. Let's add another one and see how we do here. Now, I don't know if you could do this with anything else, but these Uhu glue sticks are like the bomb. And they're a little more expensive than everything else, but I absolutely love them. And they stick really well, so they're a really good glue to use. If you're looking for a good glue, I would highly recommend um, Uhu glue. Okay, so for the big announcement, I'm going to move this stuff out of the way for a second because I need to show y'all what we're doing. Well, today I am announcing the beginning or the start or the kickoff for um, my design team for Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I am so, so excited about it. I've worked hard to try and put a team together. And I have some wonderful, wonderful, lovely ladies um, who are very talented, who are going to be on the team. And I wanted to introduce y'all to them because they're um, uh, sweet, sweet people and they deserve all the credit. Um, they're going to be presenting a project um, starting in March um, for the rest of the year. Uh, they will be presenting, you'll see a project presented every Friday on Shaw and Tail Fridays. Thank you, BB, for the wonderful name that we came up with. That was BB's suggestion. And um, yeah, so we're going to do Shaw and Tail Fridays. So every Friday, you'll see a project from one of the team members. And, um, yeah, so just be looking out for that. I'm really, really excited for the kickoff. Again, the kickoff will be um, next weekend, next Friday. You should see um, some projects coming out. And then every Friday you can be looking for projects. Um, and I will put links to all of these ladies and all of their channels and all of their links in the description box below so that you can go and support them. I hope that you will go and support them um, subscribe to their channels, um, uh, follow them on Instagram, um, yeah, so I'm so excited, so I'm going to put all of their information in the description box below so that you can find them easily, and, um, okay, so here's the big reveal, so here are the team members, let me just scoot some of this out of the way, let's see, can y'all see that okay? All right, so here are the team members. So we have Miss Laura Neal. Y'all probably know her well. She is with Laughing Dog, Laughing Dogs Book Nook on YouTube. That's her name also on Instagram. And then we have Miss Tina Epp. I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame good so that you can see them well. And I'm gonna, um, I'll have this posted on Instagram too. So if you want to be able to. Um, go over there and see their pictures better you'll be able to see them there too um she's uh, just tina Epp on youtube and here's she, you'll see her link um miss tanya dirksen and i hope i'm saying that right tanya if i'm not saying it right correct me it will not hurt my feelings actually i prefer that you correct me 
Um, she is with Side Gig Crafts on YouTube and Instagram. Then we have my lovely friend, Miss Carol Siddle. Um, she is Journal Dream World on YouTube. And um, she used to send books to my um, my consignment shop. And so y'all probably know her really, really well. She does wonderful, wonderful work. And then we have Miss V Castro. Um, she is on Facebook and Instagram. She does not yet have a YouTube channel. Um, but she, I think she's working on it. So we might get to see that eventually. But she'll do videos on Instagram and probably Facebook too. I don't know. Um, and then we have Miss Misty Cotton Game. She and I have been friends for a long time. Hey, Misty. And um, she is Cotton Games Creations on Facebook. And she is Misty Cotton Games 6752 on YouTube. And so, again, y'all go over and check these ladies out. I also have a guest, guest design team member, um, Miss Beebe, the one who came up with the Shawl and Tail Fridays. And um, this is BB. She is BB's Closet Creations on YouTube. Um, and then she has a Poshmark Closet and Pinterest. I don't believe she's on Instagram yet. Um, so yeah, BB is going to join us. She could not commit for the full year. So she's just going to be a six months. Um, and so that's why I've just listed her as a guest design team member. But she is fully a member of the team and she has already put in a lot of input and so i appreciate you very much bb so yeah these are um, the design team members hopefully you can see them all let me scoot this over a little so these are the design team members and i am super super excited to work with these ladies they have all been wonderful so far very responsive and i cannot wait to see their first projects um, again, I know y'all know Laura. She does beautiful, beautiful work. I'm just in awe of her work. She has gorgeous journals. So y'all go check her out. She also has a, I believe she still has her Etsy shop. Laura, correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe she still has her Etsy shop. So y'all go check it out. Because like I say, she has beautiful journals. And you know, the funny thing is, I was scrolling on, or I was doing a search on Etsy. Hang on, I gotta get a coffee. Okay, sorry. Ooh, that coffee was cold. <laughs> um, anyways, I was doing a search on Etsy the other day for a journal or something. I was looking for, I think I was looking for a journal cover. Anyway, I did a search for journal. And do you know that I only found one or two of our style journals? like um, the junk journals that we do. And I was like, what is going on? So I don't know. So if I guess maybe you just have to know what shops to go to or whatever, but it is hard to find a journal on Etsy. You can find just regular journals, you know, with the plain pages and the leather covers and things like that. And you can find some junk journals. But I was just shocked to see that, you know, there aren't many. So, we need to get busy and make some journals so that um, we can have some on Etsy so that people can find them, right? So, anyways, I just wanted to come on here real quick this morning and have a little chat with y'all. Um, I have to leave this afternoon. My aunts came up from Georgia yesterday, and um, they came through um, Maryville here where I live, and they were headed to Pigeon Forge. And so they sent me a message last night and they said, we have an extra ticket to the Dixie Stampede for tomorrow night for dinner. Will you come and have dinner with us? So I'm going um, to go up to Pigeon Forge real quick, or if not real quick, <laughs> it'll take me about an hour. Um, but I'm going to go up there and have dinner with them this evening. So um, I have some things to wrap up in the studio and things to get done. I've got digitals that I'm working on. I've got these journals that I'm working on. And I'm just going, it's hard to walk away from it, y'all. Do y'all have that problem, too? When you're working on a project, you get in the zone and, and you're working on it so hard. And it's just so hard to, to walk away from it. But sometimes you just have to say, okay, I'm taking a break, um, you know, so that you can actually have a life outside of journals. <laughs> 
because sometimes I don't allow myself that. Um, I don't have a life outside of um, between taking care of mom and um, trying to get get journals ready. You know, that's pretty much my whole life other than, well, you know, my grandbabies, of course. Um, so, yeah, I have a hard time walking away from it. So, but um, also coming up, just to let y'all know, because um, I'm going to be out of the studio a couple of weekends in a row, which is really hard for me to do because, like I say, you know, I get in here and I get so many things going on. And, you know, I just like to finish a project. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of interruptions between, you know, taking care of mom and, and you know, helping Brie with the babies and while she's going to college and working. And, um, you know, so it sometimes can be quite a distraction. And I'm okay with that because, you know, it's life and... You have to have a life. Oh, goodness. We got a little hair in there. Thank you, Remington. <laughs> Gotta love it when Remy's hair gets in the glue. Um, but anyways, so next... Oh, my goodness. I can't get rid of that thing. Let me get rid of it here. Okay. Um, so next weekend... Let's see. Today is February 21st. And so the first weekend of March, which is when the design team will kick off, I will actually be out of town. It is mine and Sunshine's anniversary weekend, and we have not went anywhere or done anything together in a very long time, just me and him. And so I rented us a cabin, and we're going to go um, for the weekend and just have us a little anniversary weekend. So I will be out um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of that week. That's next weekend. And then the following weekend, I think I told y'all my sister had built herself, or, you know, they were building a house. And she's been wanting me to come down and spend the weekend with her and see her house. And which I saw it while they were building it. Um, but um, I've been trying to plan. I was supposed to go in January, and, you know, things happened, and I didn't get to go. And so, I've been trying to plan um, a time to go down there and see her house. Well, um, that weekend is also my daddy's birthday, or that week is my daddy's birthday. So, um, it's his 80th birthday, y'all. Can y'all believe he's going to be 80? I'm so glad he's turning 80. I'm so glad we still have him. I'm very blessed to still have my dad. Um, so anyways, I'm going to drive down and, um, and celebrate his birthday on that weekend and, um, get to spend the weekend with my sister and see her house. So, you know, I sometimes stress myself out about leaving, you know, because I don't, number one, I don't ever leave. I very rarely ever go anywhere out of the house other than to pick up the grandbabies. Um, but you know, sometimes you just have to take the time that you've been given and enjoy the people that you're blessed with in your life, even when you have pressing things to do that need to get done. And that's how I have to look at it because otherwise I would truly stress myself out to the max thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to be gone for two weekends. I'm not going to get any work done, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You know how that is. And so, I just decided that, you know, these are things that I need to do and things that I want to do. And, you know, work will wait. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go enjoy my family. Um, starting today, I'm going to enjoy my aunts because they always remind me so much of my mama. And I miss my mama so bad. I know it's been 26 years since she passed, but... Goodness, I still miss her every single day. Some days worse than others. Y'all know how that is. Um, so, yes, I'm going to go and spend the afternoon with them or the evening with them and get a little piece of my mama. And Because they are just like my mama, I'm telling y'all. Lots of times when I see them, I, I mean, I see my mama. And so I'm going to go spend some time with them and... Get some loving from my mama. 
And in the next weekend, I'm going to go and spend some time with my honey. And then the next weekend, I'm going to go spend some time with my sister and my brothers and my daddy. So that's kind of what's going on. And, you know, just to kind of let y'all know, um, that's where I'll be. So in between all of that, I will be trying to get some things done and trying to get some videos out and working on um, digital journal, I mean, uh, digital journal kits and um, working on these journals that I have going. I think I've got, I don't know, maybe 12 journals going right now. <laughs> And so, it's taken me a while to get them done, but that's okay, too. Uh, I'll get them done and get them in the shop as soon as I can for y'all. So, anyways, y'all please go and support all of the ladies who have so graciously uh, joined my design team. I'm looking forward to seeing their projects and, and what they create and... Um, I hope that y'all are too, and I hope that it'll be a fun thing for all of us to enjoy. And, um, yeah, so if y'all would, just go say hi to them. Sub subscribe to their YouTube channels if they have a YouTube channel. Um, follow them on Instagram. Uh, follow them on their Facebook pages, because several of them have um, Facebook pages or Facebook groups that they have. And so, if y'all could... Just go and support all of these lovely, lovely ladies because, you know, we all need all the support we can get. So, anyways, that is the video for today. I know it wasn't um, very crafty, um, but it was very important because these ladies are working hard. And, and um, I think that you will enjoy uh, their crafty talents. So, anyways, I'm going to end the video for now so that I can get finished, wrap a few things up in the studio here this morning, and go jump in the shower and get ready to go and spend the evening with my aunts. So, um, if, if y'all could, if, if you pray, if you could um, pray for my son, he's been having some, some health issues, and I've been having to run back and forth and and help him. He lives an hour away from me, so that's been quite the uh, <laughs> quite the challenge trying to do that. Plus, take care of mom. Plus, take care of the grandbabies. Uh, plus, keep a house and keep a business going. And <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. So anyway, if y'all could lift him up in your prayers, I would greatly appreciate it. And also, Sunshine is sick. He is home sick today. And he's panicking too because he, like me, is a workaholic. And, um, you know, he's got a lot going on. He's trying to open up a new women's facility for women um, in, in addiction. And it's a, it's a treatment facility. And um, so he's trying to get that opened. And uh, it's very, very important. Um, so he needs to be on his toes and... He needs to not be sick. So if y'all could lift him up in prayer, I would greatly appreciate that too. So anyways, if y'all have any comments or questions, suggestions, or anything else, you can leave them in the comment box below. Like and subscribe for me if you will, because we're going to have lots more fun videos. And um, send all your friends to all of these ladies' channels. Again, here I'll show y'all their their information and like I say I'll put all of their information in the description box below and yeah if y'all will I would greatly appreciate your support for all of these ladies so until I guess I will see you in next week's video and I hope y'all have a great rest of your week and a great weekend big hugs